What is the goal for this Knicks team headed into next season? What would signify success for this team headed into next season? Well, Jalen Brunson, again, never holds back, always answered the question that's right in front of him. And he did that again when he was answering uh, this question when it came up during his uh, presser when he became captain for the Knicks. Let's go ahead and review that really quickly. According to Jalen Brunson, he states, it's nice to hear that we're contenders, but I think we've got to go into training camp without having that word being spoken of. From day one, let's get better every single day. Let's focus, the, let's focus on the next day. Obviously, I said I want to get past the second round for two straight years, but you can't just go into the season and jump back into the second round. You've got to go back and start all over again. We have some new pieces. We have some familiar faces. What we can do with it? What type of team do we want to be? So we've just got to lock in and buy in together. Brunson just answered it for you. He wants this Knicks team, like each and every year, to get past the second round. Eastern Conference Finals. Everybody in this room, everybody watching right now, all of New York, including myself, would agree. After the moves that have been made, after the final piece in Mikel Bridges is on this team, the only thing left to do now is to prove everybody wrong, to win, and to get to the Eastern Conference Finals, the place that has eluded us for the last two years. If we get there, that is a successful season. It doesn't mean that we're happy, though. doesn't mean that we stop there. Work's not done. Job's not finished. We continue, we push forward, and we try to win that series so we can go to the NBA Finals because that's always the goal. And we have the roster right now to get it done. You got to love Jalen Brunson here in this moment. He already understands that on paper, the Knicks are seen as contenders. But he doesn't want to hear that anymore. He doesn't want to start the season with him thinking, with the Knicks thinking in their heads. Yeah, we're contenders. We're contenders. We don't have to do anything. We're so good, we're contenders. No. Just because on paper we're contenders doesn't mean we have to be content with that. Instead, how about we put in the work? How about instead of people calling us contenders, we're better than contenders. We're a better team than contenders. We're making people think, well, wow, this team, I know we thought we're, they were contenders, but you know what? Looking at them now and how they're playing, they might, be some, they might be a team that can go all the way and take the NBA title from whoever we thought was going to be there. That's what the Knicks are able to do right now, but they have to put in the work each and every day. And when your captain is Jalen Brunson, when you have a physical specimen in, J in, excuse me, when you have a physical specimen in Julius Randle on your roster, when you have OG Ananobi and Mikel Bridges, Mitchell Robinson, Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Hart, Miles McBride, Jericho Sims to an extent, Presses Achua to an extent, you have a roster full of dogs, a roster that believes that if they buy into their role, buy into what the coach is saying, and believes that they can go out every night and win any game, they're dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. You've created a monster. You've given Tom Thibodeau the best roster he's ever had. You've given Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle the best co-stars that they could ever ask for that maximize their superstar abilities. We have that now. And we are finally going into a season where we're the team to be feared, where no team wants to go up against us in a seven-game series, where no team wants to play against us in a road trip because they know starting up against the Knicks, it's a bad night. How are you going to stop the defense? How are you going to stop whatever the Knicks are running? Newsflash, you can't. I know on paper we're seen as a dominant team, but I think we all understand this Knicks team is not lazy. They believe in the work. They are motivated by their leader in Jalen Brunson, who is also motivated by the work. We're going to put in that work. We're going to be one of the best teams in the league next season. And we are going to be a team that everybody fears come the postseason, come the regular season. But we're talking about all these games. We're talking about the postseason, the regular season. What about Christmas? Who are the Knicks going to be taking on during Christmas? Well, thanks to Shams of The Athletic, we now have that information. And we also have more information on the Knicks preseason games right now that's been announced. Let's take a look at that as well, too. Shout out to Shams for giving us this information. According to him, 
These are the NBA dames that are slated for 2024-2025. You have the Spurs at the Knicks. That's right. They're at MSG, and that game is kicking off Christmas Day. Then you got the Timberwolves versus the Mavericks, the 76ers at the Celtics, the Lakers at the Warriors. That's going to be another great game. You always love to see Braun versus Steph. Then you got the Nuggets versus the Suns, Jokic versus uh, KD. You're going to love to see that as well, too. Then, as you can see on this next screenshot over here, we have the Knicks preseason schedule. It's not the full preseason schedule that hasn't been released yet, but here's what we do know of the games that have been announced. On October 6th, you have, which is a Sunday, I should say, October 6th, which is a Sunday, 5 p.m. It's going to be the Knicks at the Hornets. Then on October 9th, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m., you got the Wizards at the Knicks. Then on October 13th, another Sunday game, 7 p.m., it's the Wolves at MSG. Then October 15th, we have um, on a 7.30 night game. On Tuesday, it's the Hornets versus the Knicks. And then our last known preseason game for right now on October 18th, Friday, 7 p.m., that's Knicks at Wizards. Now, I believe last year during the preseason, we only played four games. So if we have five games listed now, I'm not sure we're going to play any more preseason games. And if we are, that's going to be kind of new for me. So I don't know what the Knicks are doing right now, why PR hasn't released the Knicks preseason schedule yet. Once they do that, we will make another video on it. We will let you know all about it. It's likely going to be a clarification of this list right here. But even if it is, we will go ahead and give you that update because, again, it will be an official update from the Knicks PR. So we'll definitely want to cover that. But again, Knicks versus the Spurs. Spurs at MSG on Christmas Day. Wemby versus Jalen. Guys, remember that last matchup, right? Now we get to see it on Christmas Day. I don't know what's going to happen, but the Knicks are going to be an even better team this Christmas than they were last year. And I think they're going to rock the house, give us a win like they did against the Bucks this past uh, Christmas, and we're going to all go home happy. I can't wait to see it. We also have a lot of other great Christmas games to look for and look at and be happy for on Christmas Day. So I can't wait for those. Knicks preseason games, that's the first time we're going to be able to see the rookies, see what the Knicks may want to roll out, and potentially. Maybe see Tom Thibodeau explore a 10-man rotation. Now, if Tom Thibodeau explores a 10-man rotation during preseason, does that mean he's going to explore it during the regular season? No, it doesn't mean that at all. It just means he's experimenting. But I hope, I really do hope that in preseason, we see minutes for the players that are going to be players that are going to get those minutes during the regular season. So don't play Colic a heavy set of minutes if he's never going to see time during the regular season this year. But if you have hope that he will, then play him. Put him in sets. Make him play some minutes with Jalen Brunson, without Jalen Brunson. Try to experiment what games would look like if Jalen Brunson is resting and you have Polek in there. Is he enough at this point of his career to stabilize the offense, get others involved so, so Jalen Brunson can rest before he comes back refreshed and everybody has to worry again? Maybe that's what you do if you're Tom Thibodeau. But he, again, is going to have a lot of games on his hands, apparently, to look at this roster, make decisions, and also try to understand what's the best players and best units out there. If you enjoy these clips from the live show, be sure to subscribe to the channel and have notifications turned on so you don't miss any new episodes or when we go live. Thanks for watching, Nick fans. And until next time, peace.